What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Cap back again with another Rank Seasons video and today we're going to do one of two different Rank Seasons videos. Today we're going to be doing the Player of the Month build. That's right, if you guys remember the last time we did a video like this, it didn't turn out too well, you know. We did get our budgets clapped and uh, that's not what we want in today's video. But in today's video, we're going to come up with a new and an updated version. That's right, if you guys remember. June player of the month cards were available, which means we had a chance to upgrade our team. And well, let's just say it got a little bit better. We're gonna start from behind the play. It's not gonna be Gary Sanchez in today's video. It's gonna be Mike Zanino, of course. Great defense, great power off the bat. Not as much speed or vision, but still a great bat and a great wall behind the plate. Then we got Jesus Aguilar, who's gonna be playing first base. Once again, as well, great power. DJ LeMahieu, will be at second, new players will high contact, power is a little bit boosted, of course, fielding seems great, speed, not that bad, he's gonna be playing second, of course. Then the left side of the infield will be Carlos Correa and D.D. Gregorius, of course, two of the Lightning players, of course. They're the last two, of course, from April and May. We're shortstops, so Correa's gonna take third, of course, better arm, so he's gonna take third, and D.D.'s gonna be at short. Left field is gonna be Ryan Zimmerman, that's right. There really wasn't much choices to play left field. I mean, he's still a great bat, not the best defense, but he's gonna be manning left field. Great numbers versus lefties. And at center field is gonna be Cody Bellinger. I mean, just look at that fielding, the arm strength. I mean, we could put him at first, but that's such a waste of his talent at the field. So we're gonna put him at center, and at right field is gonna be Derek Dietrich. Derek Dietrich has great numbers versus righties, of course. Not the best fielding, but then again, there wasn't much choices in the outfield. So it's gonna be Derek Dietrich. The bench is gonna be consisting of four player of the month cards, and of course, one of them is going to be filled up by Mickey Mantle, but he's not going to be used until if, for example, we waste all four player of the month cards. But here is the bench. Gary Sanchez, great power, backup catcher. Very nice. We also got Tim Anderson, high contact, high power versus righties, great speed. Not the best defense, but hey, if you want him on base, he'll get on base. Brandon Crawford's another guy who could find a way to get on base. And if you need a defensive replacement, he could play almost anywhere. We put him at center field in the last game. Fielding didn't really change much. It did go to silver, but it was a pretty great center fielder, right? Finally, we got Adalberto Mondesi. At the time, he was Raul Mondesi, but here he is, Adalberto Mondesi. He's got great hitting for like a, a silver player at the time, but with these diamond hitting stats, chef's kiss you know and then silver or gold fielding i think it is it's gold fielding that's right and that speed oh man probably the fastest on the team the pitching that's where it gets a little bit weird you know you got alex wood you got chase anderson glass now and corbin so i mean there was only really one new pitcher added so once again if you guys remember the last video we were gonna we said that we were gonna use all the pitchers and we did except you know we didn't in reality but we're gonna use Chase Anderson in today's video, and of course, if we do need some pitching changes, the starters will be available, and so will be Hector Neris. Once all those guys have been used, we're gonna go right to the, of course, the other options that we do have, live series players, and uh, let's just hope we can get this done. All right, we're gonna be playing against the LA Lions, of course. There's our team, full of player of the month cards. He has Clark Schmidt on the hill. He's also got Henderson, Sandberg, Yelich, Trout, Bellinger, Correa, Posey and Eddie. All right. He's got a good team, but hey, player of the month cards, they got to be better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now officially underway. Let's go, baby. We got the player of the month team build. Chase Anderson is going to be taking the hill for us. We have used the other pitches, of course, but unfortunately, I don't feel like pitching with those guys. Chase Anderson, out of everybody, has the best pitching repertoire. I hope that he can go the distance, and then, of course, if anything, we could go to the pitchers, maybe at the later three innings of the game. Hopefully, we walk away with the dub. One and two. Okay, we cannot let Ricky Henderson reach on base. And just like that, he reaches on base. Well, not the way you really want to start off a game with Ricky Henderson getting on base, but it's cool. Now we just need to find a way to get a double play. There we go. We get him to chase that cutter. Come on, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Correa, DJ to Aguilar, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Just like that, the rally ends as quick as it started. All right here steps in Correa against Clark Schmidt. Clark Schmidt does throw some gas, and that sinker is nasty. So we got to be careful with, of course, Clark Schmidt. Correa steps in. Uh, we do have a hit with Correa finally, but we're 1 for 11 with him. Come on, Correa. Step it up. Uh, Correa. Come on, Correa. 
And we're going to get on top of a changeup and early chopped. Good pitch. All right, not the hottest of starts, but we do have DD Gregorius. All right, come on, DD. 2-0 to DD. Oh, baby's going to rip it up the middle. There we go. Perfect, perfect. I think that was a sinker, and he left it exactly down the middle. All right, we got a one-out hit. Now let's see if hopefully Zimmerman can do something. Oh, we get under the sinker, man. Oh, well, at least it's not a double play. Cody Bellinger steps up the new lightning player card. All right, come on, Bellinger. All right, here we go. Full count to Cody Bellinger. Runner's going to go. Come on, Belly. And that's going to be pulled, but right at Sandberg. Man, it would have been ball four, but, you know, you just got to be careful and swing at anything that looks like a strike. As I'm recording this video, like, I, I think it's like 7 in the afternoon. Like, it's weird. I took a nap before recording, and now I'm ready to record. And all of a sudden, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the whole world decides to talk. The cats, the dogs, the birds, the kids, everybody decides to talk. There's nothing wrong with that. There's definitely nothing wrong with that. But while I'm recording, I I just feel like some of this stuff is planned, you know? Like, like some, they're, they're plotting against me. They probably know I have a channel, and it's really, really uncomfortable to the fact that everybody talks, and I'm talking about everybody. The dogs, the cats, the birds, the kids, the people, and the music that they play. I'm going to be honest. It, they, I feel like it's a conspiracy against me. Like, think about it. The second I start playing a game, I hear kids, yeah, uh, uh, you know, like, I hear the kids yelling, and then I just hear the dogs barking, eh, eh. You know, like, like, really? The second I start playing and recording, like, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, it may be on my end, or maybe I'm delusional, but I know something's not right. All right, Jesus Aguilar steps in, man. New inning, it's cool. We made the pitcher throw 17 pitches last half. All right, here we go. New inning, let's see if we can score some runs here. All right, one and two, Aguilar. Come on, Aguilar. Well, he definitely came in with the cheese. I was looking for something inside, and... That's exactly what he threw. I don't know what is it with me. I like I keep moving the PCI down for some reason. I get he throws a sinker, but it's it's not like it's moving all the way down to like Sudan. You know, like it's not it's not going to South Africa. But just like that, we're already down in an 0-2 count. And we strike out like I always move the PCI down. Like I really need to fix my hitting, dude. It's it's gone really bad. There we go, low and inside. We get him to get jammed and fly out to Cody B. Hit your spot coming up. Hey, if he gets a hit, I honestly wouldn't be shocked. The game seems to reward hits, cheap hits to pitchers than to, like, actual players. So, I mean, hey, go do your worst. That's going to be up the middle, and DD's going to be there. Can he make the play? Woo, that was close. But luckily, he's out. And, man, I, I definitely would have been mad if he beat that out. Mike Zanino steps in for his first at-bat of the game. Hopefully, we can find something to connect. We didn't do too well in the last inning, and uh, hopefully we can hopefully hit us better and, and look at pitches like we did in the first. And we're going to get jammed, and it looks like it's going to be caught by Cody Bellinger. Very late jammed. <sighs> Nothing we can do there. On one here to the pitcher. Hey, if he gets a hit, I wouldn't be shocked either, man. I mean, think about it. He could hit, get a hit, and Mike Chalk couldn't. What are the chances Chase Anderson gets a hit? 100%. Ready? I didn't say that at bat, though. I didn't say that at bat, though. All right, here we go. Correa is stepping in here. We didn't get a hit with him last at bat, but hey, maybe we can turn it around right here. 101 to Correa. Come on, Correa. And that's going to be hit up the middle. That's going to be caught by the center. Oh, it's going to get by him. Ricky Henderson doesn't make the play. We got to send Correa all the way to third. Hopefully, he can beat it, please. No, Correa threw it in. Oh, man. That was a really, really dumb mistake on our end, man. We should have stayed at second where we were happy, but we decided to risk it for the biscuit, and it didn't pay off. Top of the four, still scoreless after four. All right, here we go. Sandberg steps in again. Anderson pitching a pretty good game so far, only giving up, what, two hits? I like that so far. I do like that. All right, we're going to throw this curveball right here. Hopefully, he chases. Come on. There we go. That was a little bit of a half swing, but it's fine. As long as he doesn't get a hit, that's all that matters to me. Yelich up, who got a sing one his last at bat. He pulled it, and DJ LeMay, he just gave up, I guess. Let's see. Hopefully, somebody else on the field can make the play and hopefully not make Yelich get on base. Ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Yelich finds a way to get a piece of the ball, but watches barely miss, and he gets an extra base hit. It's crazy how we throw every pitch really well, 
And out of all the pitches that matters, it's the last one because we missed our release point by this much. This much. And he finds a way to get a hit. Isn't that great? All right, here we go. Mike Trout is now up. He fly down in his last at bat. Now here's a runner on second. Yelch is on second. All right, we cannot allow either of them to get on base or score. All right, Chase Anderson, keep pitching like you were. Here we go. Sinker lowing in for strike three. There we go, baby. That's what I like to see. Aggressiveness from Chase Anderson. Now here's Cody Bellinger. We got to attack him right here. Let's go. 0-2 to Cody B. Let's go, Chase Anderson. There we go. There's going to be a ground out to Jesus Aguilar. He's going to take it himself. There we go, baby. We avoid a huge inning. Chase Anderson collects himself after that double, strikes out Trout, and makes Bellinger ground out. And there we go. Change up low. We were able to get pretty much below the zone, pull it for a single. Okay, righty on righty. Maybe that's the move. But here's Bellinger, man. You got to get, you got to get that pitch, man. All right, one and two again. It's fine. It's fine. And that's going to bleed for a single one of the most weirdest ways I've ever seen. A si look, look at where the, that is on the PCI. I mean, I guess we'll take what we can get. I don't know if that should have been a hit. You guys let me know in the comments down below. But Jesus Aguilar is going to rip it into the gap. They No one went at first. No, Nobody left their bases. And just like that, I think Aguilar is going to get thrown out right here. But we're going to try and have some fun right here. Oh, is nobody covering second? Come on, get there. Oh, man. Cody Bellinger literally went back to cover and Buster Posey threw him out. Wow. Well, we get a one run at least. Maybe we get a chance for a second one right here. Uh, maybe. If, uh, if, uh, okay, never mind. All right, here we go. Great bottom of the fourth inning. We were only muster up one run, but hey, one run is better than no runs. Now, if Anderson can just continue pitching a really, really good game, that'd be really nice, actually. And Correa's going to get an inside changeup. Barely going to muster it up. Bellinger's going to run up for some reason when we never asked him to do that, but okay. Buster Posey steps in. He's looking to get something started. Fastball down the middle. Oh, and to curveball low. Come on. Oh, DJ LeMahieu. I don't know what is, what is it with DJ LeMahieu. Like, I feel like he's not even trying for some reason. I really don't. All right, it's fine. Uh, it is the eight hitter, Eddie Matthews, who does crush righty. So, okay, okay, I'll take it. Come on, get him out at first at least. Thank God, dude. Yeah. Chase Henderson took a while to respond. But, hey, it is pitcher wall. It's the pitcher wall. The pitcher steps in. Dude, if he gets a single to tie the game, I'm going to be very upset. Because oh he God. almost got a single on a jammed hit up the middle, but luckily DD made the play. Now, now, now there are two outs. All right, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go circle change low. Let's see if he actually gets a hit. Okay, out of boy DJ, you actually reacted to a ball and made a play. I'm actually happy with the way that this player of the month team build is going because the last three pitchers. I mean, no disrespect to them in real life. Oh baby, kiss it goodbye, gone. You hang it, we bang it to Nino with the solo Jimmy Jack. Oh, baby, that was nasty the way he disrespected that baseball. Man, that was absolutely crushed. As I was saying, I actually like Chase Anderson because he throws a sinker, a cutter, a circle change, which I do like. See what I mean by this hitting by pitching, man? They'll find a way to get on that we have a 2-0 lead. I'm very, very confident in today's game. Of course, then again, a 2-0 lead is never safe as we give up a triple to Ricky Henderson. We got to hold him up at second, though. Come on, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Come on, what's taking you so long? You got to go to a tea party later? Get, hurry, hurry. Okay. <sighs> well, that's going to be a, well, a, a triple, even though it's an inside sinker. I don't know how you hit something inside the other way, but apparently... Hopefully that doesn't happen. Here we go. One and two count. Inside fastball. Come on. There we go, baby. One down. Yelich has found a way to get on base. And you know what? We're not going to pitch to him this time. Respect to Yelich. Two for two. One of the hits eh, maybe shouldn't have been a hit thanks to DJ. But here's Mike Trout, who is over two. Better than Yelich. All right. If we could just maybe find a way to get him to chase something for a double play, that'd be fantastic. All right. Here we go. 0 and two. Curveball low. Oh, man, it's definitely going to be hit hard. It's going to be a fly ball to setter. Bellinger does make the play, though. But Henderson is going to score, making this now a 2-1 to -one game. I guess the curveball was a great pitch, but Trout didn't really get all of it, but it was enough to get in at least one run. 0-2, come on. Let's get, a, let's get a hit right here, and that's going to be right at the shortstop. Good, good. That was not good. Stop lying. Oh, he threw an error, though. Oh, my God. 
That was insane. At least he ran it out like some people don't. But there we go, baby. That's what I like to see. He got on base via error. Come on, Bellinger. Take advantage of this nice opportunity. With a good pop. If I, I timed it good, sure. But the result was popped. I mean, can't believe we missed that. All right, here we go. Chase Anderson easily got an out in the top of the seven. But, hey, let's keep it going, baby. You've been pitching pretty well. We just got to avoid the top of the order. And anybody else after, pretty much right after Trout, it should be an easy job. One and two here. Two. Buster Posey. Come on. There we go. Correa is going to make the play. We got two down. Eddie Matthews now steps in. Like I said, one swing ties the game. But I don't know why he hasn't batting in the eight hole. That's going to be a hit up the middle. DJ LeMahieu never would have made the play anyway. But, hey, at least he tried. All right, here we go. Come on, Anderson. You've been pitching well. We need you to keep it going. Let's go. Let's get Jackson out. Oh, wow. He actually hit that hard. All right, it's cool. It's cool. Just got to throw it in. Throw it in. It's fine. He still doesn't have the lead yet. So, technically, we're still fine. Who's coming up? Ricky Henderson. Oh, God. Just got to be careful. Select our pitch as well because one swing and he instantly ties it or even takes the lead. And a cutter away ties the game. Okay. Well, um, I think that's going to be the end right there. All right. Come on, DD. We need you to get it hot, baby. Come on. Keep it going. And he's going to hit it the other way. Perfect, perfect. Can we get to two? No. Mike Trout's going to cut it off. So we got to stay at first, at least for the single. My opponent's going to bring in Mariano Rivera for Cody Bellinger. Interesting, interesting choice. I guess he probably got tired, of course, with Rodney, so that's cool. We got to be careful with that cutter, though, because that cutter is legendary. Come on, Bellinger. Look for something that he could easily just lay down the middle of the zone and crush it. Oh, he left that fastball down the middle. Good okay, and it's gone, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You hang and we bang it. God, dude, I knew that was crushed. But I don't know if it was good enough to actually leave the park because, I mean, look at this, look at this result. Good okay. Good okay. I mean, just imagine, like I said, you hit it good and then it comes out okay. Like, like really? Now we're going to bring in the closing pitcher for today. I was going to bring in, of course, Tyler Glass now, but, uh, you know, I decided to save him just in case for extra innings. We're going to bring in Hector Neris to close the game. I don't like his pitch repertoire, but he is the only reliever in the game as far as Player of the Month award. So let's see. Come on, Neris. We need you to close this game just like that. Come on. Come up with it, DD. There we go. All right. Very, very nice. One pitch, and we easily get the first out. Now here comes Buster Posey, and then right after him, Eddie Matthews. Of course, we cannot allow one bad pitch to slip through. Let's go, Neris. Strike him out. I don't even care if my, if my opponent's dogs are barking, man. I just want to get this game done. We played well, though. My opponent played well as well, you know? Like, he played good, as as I'm going to be the show Lexus, Lexus put out so many times. Good. My opponent played good. He didn't play great. He played good. But good isn't enough to get the dubs, though. It's not enough to get the dubs. 0-2 once again. Fastball inside, and it's going to end down the middle. But my opponent gets under it. And, of course, Zimmerman is going to get under it for the final out of the ballgame. Fly the W, ladies and gentlemen. We take the dub. Very, very close game. But at the end of the day, of course, we all played well. Or, I'm sorry. Okay. Player of the game is going to go to Cody Bellinger, who got that go-ahead home run in the eighth inning. The Good okay home run, but still a very, very nice hit by Cody Bellinger. And, of course, we also got to give kudos to other players like Alex Wood, who came out of the pen, Nares for closing that game, Zimmerman, DD, everybody for doing really, really well. And I'm happy with the team's performance. All right, with that dub, it's going to get us to 676, which I do like to see. We, get, we start getting closer and closer to the World Series. I don't know how much longer we have until we get to World Series, but, hey, slowly and surely, as long as we keep winning and fighting, We'll get there in no time. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video. And, of course, subscribe to the channel. It is very much appreciated here. We did a Player of the Month team build today. But remember, tomorrow we will be playing, of course, the tournament-style team. So we're going to be building a team based on who I'm going to use for the tournament this weekend. And in case you guys didn't know, I will be streaming the tournament on Twitch. And if you guys don't follow me yet... It's going to be in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.